G'day Pisces, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, hey? So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Every single one of you is greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And of course, the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. All right, Pisces, let's start with a message for you. Keep an open mind. Oh, getting to know each other's popping up there. Your soulmate may differ from usual type and expectations. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. Mm -hmm. Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith and reconciliation. Pisces, what are you doing? We know you're past person. <coughs> you're trying to keep an open mind that maybe they're changed. That they're different now to what they were in the past. You're trying to trust and have faith here that maybe you could reconcile with this person. But you've already freed yourself from this. What's going on with your belief systems aren't too stable when it comes to love is what I'm hearing. If you're wanting to go back to that. I mean, you're trying to have faith that they've changed, but look, we've got separation and chemistry here you still feel the chemistry since you've been in separation from this person but look what's coming out here deception oh it's cards wanting to show themselves everywhere look while you've been in separation you're still feeling the chemistry but there's a deception still here you think they could be the one but you know it's not stable ah oh, pisces Okay, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. And we've got them. Okay, that was quick. We have express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So they want to express their love. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. They've still got a codependency here. And red flags, pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So, <sighs> they're wanting to express this love, but they've still got a codependency and they're still showing red flags. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, you deserve love. You are lovable, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. Worth waiting for, divine timing is it at work in your love life and playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so you know this is the thing they feel they deserve some sort of love from you they know you deserve love but and they're wanting to come in and heal the past they're waiting for the right time but they're coming in playful again they're waiting for you to heal and forgive them so they can come in and act playful again. It's the same situation, Pisces. They haven't changed. As much as you would like for them to have changed, they haven't changed, Al. <sighs> Al. Look. I can't blame you because I've been in that situation myself before. But let me just give you a word of advice. Um, well, in my situation, they didn't change. Even decades later, like, yeah, decades later, they were still the same. They never changed. What changed was me. I decided to give up. I got tired of being going through all that pain, and I didn't want to go through pain anymore, so that's what made me stop. But they were still the same. They were still the same, wanting to play the same game. It's just up to you how long you're going to put up with it for. When will the pain, you know, this, it's, you know, when will you <coughs> realize you deserve so much better, Dal? All right, message for Pisces. All right, 
try not to let myself influence these readings, but when I see the same things that I've been going through, I tend to, uh, oh, I've been through, I like to just let you know you're not the only one, okay? <laughs> but it's, yeah, I don't think it's going to change, Dal. Message for you, Four of Wands, The World, Three of Swords, and The Nine of Pentacles, yep. This stability that you're looking for with this person, it's going to end. You've got to close it out because there will be heartbreak here. You are more stable and grounded. Doing do so, You will do so much better on your own without this person. Yeah, but you're still trapped in it, aren't you? Willing to take that leap of faith and manifest this in with conversation with this person. You've been spying on them even though it's over. You've, I know you've tried to move on, but you're still conflicted about whether this could be your person that you'll commit to. I know, I understand, Dal. But how long, how long are you going to wait for? You're going to wait decades like I did? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> then you'll be old like me. <laughs> before you realize how happy you are on your own and that you know something real is much better well being on your own is better than putting up with crap <sighs> yeah and when something good comes along then you'll know it because you won't you'll be fine on your own so it's got to be better than that <laughs> for you to even let it in knight of swords air energy and queen of wands yeah, it's saying you need to take truthful action here. Do you want to keep being the other woman? Do you want to keep being just the party woman with this person? What about your own self needs? Are you getting your needs met here? Self-love. You need to look at that. I mean, if you're happy to play, then that's fine. But that's all it's going to be. All right, tell me about Express Your Love for this love energy coming towards Pisces, please. I'm hearing that Divine song, it's an Aussie band, well, but it used to be around. Um, Chrissy Amphlett was a singer, awesome, she's passed away, rest in peace, Dale, awesome rockin' chick. Um... <coughs> It's the song's called Pleasure and Pain, and I'm hearing you've done it once and you'll do it again. <coughs> but it's a fine line between pleasure and pain. So that's the two lines I'm hearing from the song. They don't run in that order, but they've done it once, they'll do it again. It's a fine line between pleasure and pain. You've got to make up your mind. Three of Pentacles. Oh, there's that Queen of Wands again. And the High Priestess, you know, <coughs> you know that this is just partying. And you know there's probably a third party involved in this. Oh, doll. Tell me about Express Your Love for this love energy coming towards Pisces, please. Oh, they were his, their cards. Oh, well. I took it as a message for you. Oh, why am I always coughing in these readings? I should call this TJ Coffin Tarot down under. So they've got the Ace of, Eight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. See, this is the thing. As much as they want to come and express their love, they are stressed out and will feel trapped about anything long-term and stable. They want to stay single. They don't want you to know that. Yeah, they would feel trapped in a commitment, long-term commitment. They want to be single and independent. They want to express their love, but they want to stay single. Yeah, magician. Yeah, they're playing a little magic trick. Yeah, they want to manifest. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. 
they want to manifest a new beginning here, but King of Wands, fire energy, it's all, they're very in control of their actions here. When it comes to commitment, they'll end it. Yeah. It's a magic trick. They want to manifest what they want. Could also be that them expressing love will get you stuck in being committed to them while they act single still. Okay, the fool you. They're fooling you. They're hoping you'll take the leap of faith. You know. Want to heal this with them. But they're in control of their actions here. And as far as Hierophant commitment goes, the Hermit, they want to stay single. <clears throat> Tell me about codependency for this love energy coming towards Pisces, please. And we're not going to Pisces moon, so I guess that could be how I can relate to this. But I mean, other signs that I don't have in my chart have had readings that I've related to as well. I just, you know, I'm not trying to turn this into my reading at all. Um, I'm just letting you know what that I've experienced this too. So, you know, I'm not coming from someone who lives in fairyland. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Codependency. They're still addicted to their own self-love, their own self emo their, their cup is full. This is self-love. Or it's new love, like, are that, do they have an addiction to always having new love? Or are they just totally addicted to their own selfish love? I've got the sun here. Their own happiness. New loves make them happy. Yeah, new no loves are great. It's all great at the start. I think that's what they enjoy. Always enjoying that new, the new love. And then closing out the cycle with the world. Letting the wheel turn. King of Swords, air, air energy, and the moon. See, they'll close out the cycle. Let time go by. Because they've, you know, they're going through the list in their book. All the secret people. See, they go cold when the secrets come out. They get all defensive here. And they get defensive when it comes to long-term love. Because Knight of Wands, they just want to be a player. Fire energy. Nine of Swords. It's, you know. They can't sleep at night because of all the other other women or other men that they have queen of wands fire energy third parties three, three of pentacles six of wands gather getting attention the devil that's toxic it's all about ego is what i'm hearing okay yeah they'll close out the cycle the world Tell me about pay attention to the red flags for this love energy coming towards Pisces. I'm also very familiar with your readings for a while now. <clears throat> I've been following the story. And yes, it's an old story that I remember. <laughs> we have the Empress, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. See? That's the red flags. Creating something, growing something new. You know, passionate, passionate new beginning here. Putting the work in. But it's, that's what they see as a red flag. People who want to grow things with them, they like the passionate new beginnings, but then there's putting the work in. That, that's the red flags. You know, this they enjoy the passionate beginning of with the Ace of Wands, but the work and the growth, 
their red flags to them. Hmm. Queen of Cups, Water Energy, this is you, Pisces, and that's how they see it with you. They know that you want something to grow here. They know that you want them to put the work in. They only want to give that passion, though. So they see uh, you and your beautiful love as a red flag. Yeah, and the tower. That's why they're going to let it fall. Temperance. And they'll patiently wait for the next two of cups to come along. Options. Seven of cups. Two of cups. Yep. Always got one eye open looking out for the next two of cups to come along. They've probably got many options here so they'll let this fall. They get their passion and then let it fall. <sighs> like I said, they're addicted to the, the, you know, all the sweetness at the start. But the red flags is when it's got to start growing and they've got to start <clears throat> taking action with that Ace of Wands and putting the work in and actually showing emotion. No, 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 that's red flags. Alright, message for Pisces is loneliness. Don't ever be with someone because you're lonely. Because you'll be lonely with them too. And that's why this energy, so you're attracted to this energy. And you're wanting to go back. Why? Because you're feeling lonely. But you're never alone. Enjoy your own company. If you don't enjoy your own company, why would anybody else? Envy. You're envious of other people that are in relationships, but you're in denial about the fact that this is not the good a good thing for you. Denial about what real love is. You're denying yourself this real love because you're going to this person out of loneliness and envy of being, you know, you're envious of people in relationships, don't want to be alone. You're denying yourself the, the real love within yourself and with somebody else. Someone who will be grateful to be with you, who will be patient to help things grow, disciplined and not fall around, and wants to grow in abundance with you. Pisces, what are you doing you got to sort out that loneliness style. Perseverance. Yeah, persevere with yourself. Don't persevere and put up with this. Persevere with yourself. Because if you persevere with this, you will be given nothing but grief. You're setting yourself up for grief again, Dal. Persevere. You know, get through that loneliness. Enjoy your own time enjoy that freedom that you have of yourself doing what you want to do being what you want to be turn that love and emotion back into yourself because they know it that you deserve love and you are lovable do you they want to get a piece of it but they don't want to commit to it they just want to feed off it all right, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. What else can you tell us about them? Oh, they wanted to flip that way. Okay. That is just two. Yep. One more, please. Thank you. Wow. Okay, they have grief. Service. Wow. And envy. See, they're feeling grief. So they want you to come in and do them some sort of service, but then they're going to make you envious because they want to make other people envious, is what I'm feeling. <sighs> Worry, yeah, judgment. They're worried you're going to, that you've made a judgment call. Relationships and growth, yeah. They're worried that you've made that judgment call of that relationship. You want a relationship and you want this to grow. That's what they're worried about. That's what they're worried about. 
that's what they're stressed about this being a relationship the red flags are this growing and them having to take action to get any of your emotion here but I don't think you doing anything about it would matter to them because they have other options here by the looks of it yeah. they just want to or they just want to cause confusion they like it at the start they yeah but that's why they wreck it that's why the tower falls down which is under the deck here the tower falls down Because then, ha then they can start again and have everything sweet and nice. Before they have to start putting the work in and that's when they close it down. Message for you is three of pentacles. The judgment, the tower and the ace of cups. So, do you want to work on this with this person? It's your judgment call. But the tower is going to fall. The universe is going to smash it down again because it's not right. You're not practicing that self-love. Ace of Cups. That's what this person's trying to teach you. But they're they're too far in self-love. The Knight of Cups, Water Energy, the King of Cups. Yeah, self-love. Actions of self-love actions of love towards yourself and controlling your emotions and getting in control of your emotions instead of letting this person make you feel like desperate for them because you're lonely see the truth and clarity that this is just a passionate connection and it's nothing more king of swords air energy get mature in your thoughts get clear in your thoughts and walk away from this seven of wands because four of cups you're just your offer is just getting put on the shelf all right tell me about grief for this love energy coming towards pisces please Four of Swords, <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Pentacles, and the Tower. Yep, see? Grief. Yep, when they're in grief, they cause grief. They wait for you to heal. Yep, they know you're healing, so they wait and let the wheel turn. But as soon as you come back in to work on this, they let the tower fall. They blow it up. It's like they like to cause that grief. Because what? Maybe they're going through that grief. And they don't want to show it. So they project it onto others. Three of swords. Heartbreak. They just cause grief and heartbreak. Why? Because they probably uh, bury it deep inside. You know, hurt people, hurt people thing. But... All they're going to cause you is grief. Nine of Swords. The Nightmare. See, it's a nightmare for them to have the Ten of Pentacles. Long-term stability. Four of Wands. Any sort of stability. Even passionate stability. Nine of Wands. They've got their guard up against it. Build up a wall. And see, they stand here with the, the other people behind it. And the... Yep, and they put a wall between themselves and other people when it comes to stability. Long-term stability, whoa, that's a nightmare. They don't want that. No, no, no. They'd rather break your heart once they've got what they want. High Priestess. The Strength card. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups, see? They're keeping secrets. Because it's all about boosting their ego. That's why they're cheating line stealing. Because it's all about their own self-satisfaction. Nine of Cups. Emotional fulfillment for them. Keeping everybody in a state of 
not making a choice about them. The Emperor, they're fully in control of when they will end cycles with people. They don't give them so much power, Pisces. Take your power back. Take your power back, yep. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. See, they hold back. They hold back and they keep you chained up. Don't do it. Tell me about service for this love energy coming towards Pisces, please. I'm hearing they think that they're doing you a service. <sighs> wow, talk about ego trip. Talk about ego trip. They have Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Death Card. Wow. Ah, oh, they believe that you I'm not, yeah, but look, we've got working on this, working on long-term stability and then ending with the death card. You, you, I'm seeing you putting all this work in to make something stable long-term and then they end it and pull the rug out. But it's teaching you something. They're, they're teaching you a lesson here. They've got lessons to learn for sure. But people like this are here to teach you your own self-worth. Look at all the work that you're putting in to making something stable with someone who just ends it. Do put all that self-work into yourself. Grow something stable long-term for yourself that will transform your life. That's the service that they're teaching you. Two of Pentacles. They're teaching you how to... Wow. It's like... You're doing them a service by making them feel balanced again. You put in all the work and make them feel stable. And then they end it. Because they feel balanced now. So thanks for your service, Pisces. But I'm not interested in your offer, Four of Cups. Nah, Seven of Wands, got my guard up, all defensive here. Ace of Pentacles and Two of Wands. Having a stable beginning? I don't know. I don't know about that. Let me just read my books for 500 years while my beard grows like down to my butt. Um, yeah. Stability? No, I don't know about that. No, I'm not really interested in your offer. See? You make them feel stable and then they end it. Because they're now balanced. Thanks for your service, Pisces. You can go now. I don't care what you need. I'm just getting what I need. Yep, closing out the cycle. The world. Tell me about envy for this love energy coming towards Pisces, please. Wow. There's that card sticking out. It doesn't want to come out. Ooh, the Hierophant. They're envious of people who have stable relationships. They're envious of people who have good belief systems when it comes to love. Because they don't. Yep, two of cups. They're envious of people who have love. But they they just sabotage it. They just end it. They, but yet they're envious of people who do have that commitment and love. Nine of pentacles. Nine of swords. Two nines. Temperance. And the page of pentacles. See, but they still want to stay single, even though, well, well they stay single because they know they're a nightmare, <laughs> is what I was hearing. But, you know, single life for them is also a bit of a nightmare. 
they're patiently waiting for s something stable to come in. Page of Swords always looking out for that. But n another nine, they've always got their wall up here and they hold back from it. Especially, you know, hold back from growing anything, especially with an empress. Because of some sort of karmic justice. King of Cups, Water Energy, Seven of Pentacles. All this emotion they want to give, but they hold it back because they keep reviewing the past. Well, they keep investing in Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, you know. One Night Stands, Passionate. The passion, the actions of passion. And then wonder why there's painful endings here and they don't get that Ten of Cups because... You know, they're, they're doing it the wrong way. That's why. They're, it's like they sabotage things on purpose. Because I think they're jealous of people that feel stable about love and commitment. Because they don't. I think they have issues with commitment. That's why they sabotage it. Maybe they feel like they don't deserve. See, you deserve love. Let's have a look at this. You deserve love. But yeah, they, see, they don't think they deserve love. Because of something in the past. So they just wait for the next one to come along and have play, playful energy with them. See, it's a past life thing. Something from their past has made them think that they don't deserve love. But it's not up to you to heal them. Because they're going to keep treating you like this. They need to, they need to heal. They definitely need to heal. You can't keep it coming in and doing that service for them. Because of the, they're not dealing with that grief. They keep sabotaging things and causing grief for you and them. But treating it like, well, all your time and energy and that you've spent, you know, transform them them into feeling stable. But then they end it, and they see commitment and love and working on things as. A red flag I think their belief systems when it comes to love are very skewed I don't think they understand what's involved here this is different energy like yeah it's like they don't understand what it is involved in a commitment here it's like they like it at the start but then when the work's got to be put in it's like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not how it goes. That's a red flag. Wow, they're a mixed up person, that's for sure. All right, what do you want to say, Pisces? And it's, Pisces, it's not up to you to fix them. Okay. I need time to heal. Yeah. You get healing yourself, doll. I'm in a codependent situation right now. Why? I don't know what you see in me. Now you've got self-doubt here and you're stuck in something that you know you need to heal from. Please contact me. No. No, no, no. Because you know they can't give you what you want. So why would you want them to contact you? You've got self-doubt here and you're wanting them to make you feel better about yourself. You're codependent on this person. You're codependent, they're codependent. No wonder you're attracted to each other. You need to take time to heal properly. Because you're not healing what it is. The reason why you keep going back to this when you know you're going to get hurt. And they know they're going to hurt you. You both need to do some healing here. Let's see if there's anything else for Pisces want to say. No. Yeah, I'm afraid to reach out to you. That's right, because you know you're just going to get hurt and have to heal again. Oh, Pisces. Give me three cards for this love energy. What do they want to say to Pisces, please? Nothing really, right? That's why you're attracted to each other, because you both need to do your own healing. But you're trying to heal each other, but neither of you, all you're doing is, <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's, you need to heal separately, 
do some shadow work, I think. You need to look at why you keep letting them do this to you, and they need to look at why do they keep doing it to you. Otherwise, if you keep letting them do it, it's just a vicious cycle that goes round and round and round and round and round, and nothing's getting healed. Nothing's ever going to change. They have I am different now. Really? Because it doesn't look like it here, mate. I don't know what you see in me, see? They're the same as you. You don't know what they see in you because you want commitment and they don't know what you see in them because they don't. I only want to be with you, okay. You can say that, mate, but it's not what comes across here. I'm going crazy without you. Yeah, they don't like being alone either, see? You're both lonely, but you come together and cause more loneliness. I'm sorry I lied to you, but they'll do it again. And I don't trust you, see? They've got trust issues, I told you. It's under that deck. They've got trust issues. So, they'll keep lying, and they'll keep... Until they deal with those trust issues, nothing's going to change. See, they regret letting you go. And they want to work it out. But then they just want to be single. And they blame you. But it's them. Well, it's both of you. They blame you. But it's them that's causing a tower. And then it's, oh, I now know what I lost. Oh, it goes round in circles, or round and round and round, because they're not dealing with the trust issues. They just want to be single, but yet they want you back. It's, oh, wow. So they want to be single, but then they're, they're envious of everybody who has a relationship, but they just want to be single. They just... You know, like the love, the new love feeling at the start, but putting that work in, oh, no, 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 no. But then, oh, I want a relationship, but I don't want to put the work in. Well, you, then you need to look at that, mate. And you keep going back to them knowing they're this way, hoping that they're going to change this time. But, are you, you know, are you going to go back in and just do all the work again? And then crack it because they're not putting the effort in. And then get your heart broken and do it all again. I guess you two will keep going round and round and round in this cycle until you get tired of it. That's when you stop. When you've had enough. When you learn the lesson. And yes, I know. Because I learned the hard way. <laughs> but I learned it in the end. You know. And that's the whole reason why it goes. The way it goes. You keep getting back on the same thing. You're going to keep, you know. Until you learn the lesson. And once you learn the lesson. You don't get back on it anymore. So. Yeah. Love you Pisces. Yeah, you know, just make sure you love you. Because uh, you deserve better than this. And, you know, they haven't changed in the whole time we've been doing your readings, so it's up to you if you want to put up with this for how long? How long do you want to put up with it for? How long do you want to miss out on something better? Hmm. All right, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, I'll do another reading in a few days' time, and we'll see what's going on then. All right, well, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. You take care of yourself. All right, good luck. I'll catch you later.